Hi, my name is Katerina Korshun, I am a fashion designer and felt artist. Today, using this beret as an example, I'll show you how to dye felted products decorated with viscose. To begin with, all the fibers that we use for felting can be divided into two groups according to their composition – protein fibers and cellulose fibers. Wool and silk are protein fibers, while cellulose fibers such as cotton, viscose, tensile, linen, nettle, bamboo are made from plant materials. Today I will be dyeing cellulose fibers. Let us talk about dyes. Viscose is poorly dyed with dyes for wool, since wool has a protein composition. For dyeing viscose, you should choose dyes which are labeled for cotton, viscose, linen fabrics. Here is, for example, a dye made in England. It is called Chemtex Direct Series. I like using it. I also use Czech dye chats. Unlike acidic wool dyes, which are fixed by acid, cellulose fiber dyes are mostly fixed with salt. You will need regular table salt unless the manufacturer's instructions say otherwise. In addition to dye and salt, you will need a pair of gloves to protect your hands, a few cups or jars where you will stir the dye, spoons, few white paper napkins and a clean film wrap. I recommend using clean film to cover the table. I put a little bit of dye powder in a glass and add hot water. Stir the dye well. Drip it onto the white napkin to see what color is obtained. I have prepared several colors for different products. Now I add salt to each glass. Look at the packaging of your dye for the amount of salt you need. It is different for each dye. I want to dye this beret which is decorated with tensile fibers. Prior to dyeing, soak your item in warm water, rinse out so it is not dripping. I take a pot which I do not use for cooking. I put warm water into the pot and add a dye solution with salt. I wet the beret and put it into the dye pot. It is important that there is enough space so that the felted piece is not compressed. Heat the dye pot on a low heat up to 90 degrees Celsius while stirring gently. Maintain the temperature and continue to dye for around 10 minutes. Then turn the heat off and let the beret to cool down inside the dye pot. Do not take out the beret immediately, because during the cooling process the dye is fixed. Then I rinse the beret well, rinse it out, shape it and let it dry. Here is the beret I got. Tencel takes dye wonderfully, and I really like its active shine and expressive texture.